Our synthetic RNA arrives dried down and must be resuspended before use. For the purpose of this video, we will walk through a calculation example for small interfering RNA or siRNA. But the basic process can be used with slight modifications for any synthetic RNA product from Horizon Discovery. Okay, let's get started. Choose the appropriate buffer for your synthetic RNA with this table. Using the wrong buffer may cause errors in your experiment. For siRNA, we recommend resuspending in 1x siRNA buffer or RNA's free water for short-term storage. First, pulse spin the dry siRNA to ensure that the siRNA pellet that might not be visible is at the bottom of the tube. Determine the final resuspension volume using this table and add that amount of 1x siRNA buffer to the siRNA. For example, if you receive 5 nanomoles of siRNA and you want to make a 100 micromolar stock solution, add 50 microliters of 1x siRNA buffer. Next, pipe at the solution up and down 3 to 5 times without introducing bubbles and securely close the tube. Incubate the solution on an orbital shaker for 30 minutes at room temperature. Briefly pulse spin the tube to make sure all of the siRNA is at the bottom. Next, verify the siRNA concentration by measuring the UV absorbance at 260 nanometers with either a nanospectrophotometer or, as shown here, a traditional spectrophotometer. When using a traditional spectrophotometer, use Beer's Law to calculate the siRNA concentration. The formula is absorbance at 260 nanometers equals the extinction coefficient multiplied by the concentration and multiplied by the path length of the cuvette used for measurement. For the extinction coefficient of your RNA, check the product transfer form. Solve for concentration and then multiply by the dilution factor used in the measurement. In this example, the A260 is 0.39, the extinction coefficient is 385,000, and the path length is 1 centimeter. This equals a concentration of 1.01 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter, or 1.01 micromoles per liter. Next, multiply by the fold dilution to get your working concentration. In this example, the fold dilution is 100, so the concentration is 101 micromolar. If you need to convert from nanomoles to micrograms, multiply the number of moles by the molecular weight on the product transfer form or the average molecular weight for your oligo. Average molecular weights for synthetic RNAs are found in this table. The siRNA is now ready to use. For longer term storage, the siRNA may be aliquoted into working volumes to reduce freeze-thaw cycles. Storage at minus 20 to minus 80 degrees Celsius is recommended. The siRNA may be stored at 4 degrees Celsius for up to 4 weeks. Find out more about Horizon's products and services at horizondiscovery.com. Thank you.